Hello, my name is Azmi Sharam, and welcome to Brave New World. This week, well, it's going to be a little bit sad because I want to talk about a person I think is the greatest songwriter of recent times, Leonard Cohen, who just passed away. On November 7th this year, Leonard Cohen passed away. Now, Cohen has been rightly acknowledged to be one of the greatest lyricists in modern music. Well, it's not really surprising because before he became a singer, he was a published novelist and poet, and he had, you know, some acclaim. And his songs really are like poetry. He, he can be uh, soft and poignant and sad, like his song Chelsea Hotel, um, which is apparently being sung to Janis Joplin, where he writes, you told me again, you preferred handsome men, but for me, you'll make an exception. And clenching your fists for the ones like us who are oppressed by the figures of beauty, you fixed yourself and said, well, we are ugly, but we have the music. Still is, for those of them left. Ah, but you got away, didn't you, baby? <laughs> Great stuff. Oh, but he can be biting as well, really biting. Um, like in his song, uh, Everybody Knows. The line goes, Everybody knows you were discreet. There were just too many people you had to meet without your clothes. Ooh, catty. Now, I'm going to talk about three of my favourite songs by Leonard Cohen. This is my tribute to him. And these are his older songs from the 60s and early 70s, where there was a lot more guitar. The later songs was a lot more synth, and I prefer the old guitar stuff. And the first one is Suzanne, which is about a woman called Suzanne. And what I really like about this song is it draws you into that world. You know, where, when he sings about sitting with Suzanne, you feel that you are there. You know, the music, the, the, the beautiful tune and the lyrics. And you want to be there, you want to sit there by Suzanne's house next to the river um, eating tea and oranges which she brought all the way from China. It's, it's, it's really an immersive experience. There's a lot of religious imagery in that song as well, but for me what really strikes me is that I want to be with Suzanne. I want to hang out with her, this crazy beautiful woman. The second song I like is called Hey That's No Way To Say Goodbye, which as the title implies is a breakup song. But my God, it's, so, it's, it's done so gently, so kindly, so compassionately, that it's, it's really quite beautiful. You know? and people say he's suicidal you know, because he's so gloomy, but underneath the sadness, there is a kindness, which, which, which is hopeful. And, um, and this is one of those songs. And it also has only three chords, so even a doofus like me can play. Now, the last song is Famous Blue Raincoat. Now, before I go into the song, let me just give you a little bit of background. Cohen was, of course, a child of the 60s, and, and he was hedonistic, very hedonistic. He owned an entire Greek island, for goodness sake. Uh, and he romped on this island with his beautiful muse, the, the lovely Marianne Issen from, from Scandinavia. But underneath that, there's a steel, a, a stoicism, and it shows in Famous Blue Raincoat. Because this is a song about a man writing to another man who had cuckled at him, a man who had slept with his woman. And yet there's no anger, there's no bitterness, there's no whining. But instead you have self-reflection, brutal honesty and graciousness, which shows that you can be sensitive without being a wuss. And for that, I'm thankful. You know, this year, Bob Dylan won the Nobel Prize for Literature, and there's a hoo-ha about the songwriter winning this prize. Frankly, I think the wrong songwriter won the Nobel Prize. Like a drunk in a midnight choir I have tried in my way to be free. 
If you love Leonard Cohen as much as I do, why, why don't you share your favourite songs? You can post it on Facebook or YouTube. Really looking forward to hearing from you.